much. Well, this is a special night. Ain't they doing a beautiful job with the show, Walter Miller and all the guys back there? Oh, let me tell you folks from personal experience that being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame is one of the greatest honors imaginable. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, now that dolly is just too young to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, funny things do happen. Seriously, though, getting into the Hall of Fame is as good as it gets, and tonight, two more richly deserving country giants enter this distinguished company. First of all, I'm happy to say that tonight, we honor a true country pioneer, the great Bill Carlisle. At age 93, Bill Carlisle is the only member of the Grand Ole Opry cast who can trace his career all the way back to the beginning of commercial country music. He began performing on Kentucky radio with his brother Cliff in 1929 and scored his first solo hit way back in 1933. But Bill really hit his stride in the early 1950s with such big hits as No Help Wanted and Too Old to Cut the Mustard. That's when his energetic style earned him the nickname of Jumpin' Bill Carlisle. <laughs> and after recording hits for four decades, he proves that he's still not too old to cut the mustard. He performs on the Grand Ole Opry to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, Jumpin' Bill Carlisle! show that he could still jump as high as he used to, but he couldn't stay up as long. <laughs> anyway, this next inductee changed my life forever, but that's only part of one of the greatest country music stories ever told. I'm thrilled to proclaim that our second CMA Hall of Fame inductee is none other than my dear friend and valued mentor, Porter Wagner. Porter Wagner is, in many ways, the ultimate country show. Between 1960 and 1981, he hosted one of country music's most popular syndicated television shows. He was the first star in Nashville to produce his own records. He took country costume into new heights in the flashiest rhinestone suit you've ever seen. He made some of country music's finest concept albums. And on top of that, Porter placed 81 songs on the popularity charts between 1954 and 1983, including such classics as A Satisfied Mind and Green Green Grass of Home. Three Grammy Awards later, Porter's still making great records and starring at the Opry. Oh, and one more thing, he helped make a big star out of a little old mountain girl named Dolly Parton. Thank you all. Thank you so much. I like to think of myself as a link, a link between the real pioneers of country music and the stars of today and tomorrow. I've had the great fortune to call many legends my friends and watch some of my closest friends become legends. You would think that when a man receives the highest award that, uh, in his chosen field, that his ego would just go plumb through the ceiling. But you know what? I've never felt more humble in my whole life than I do tonight. I, uh... <laughs> Finally, I want to thank uh, the two most important groups of my whole career, my family and my fans. Thank you so very much for this great honor. Thank you all. Earlier.